Hey Fantastic You, welcome back. And if you're new to the channel, welcome, glad to have you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so we can be friends. Today I'm going to show you how to do this super easy, simple butterfly pop-up card. You don't even need a Cricut and Design Space to do this. If you've got an X-Acto knife, a paper cutter, and a scoring tool, you can do it. Just where I'm inserting my score lines and cut lines is where you're gonna get that cut on your end. But let's get started. So first thing you're gonna need is the main part of your card. So I've already got that here. It's the gray layer. I've got it at 10 and a quarter inches by seven inches and I've put a score line down the center. Next, you're gonna need an insert. So I've made my insert here which is 9.75 inches by 6.5 inches. With that, we're gonna need some score lines. So we'll head into shapes, grab a score line. This one, we're gonna make it 6.5 inches. It's for the center of the card. You can get it aligned center horizontally now. We're gonna grab another score line. This one we're gonna make one inch and we're gonna dupl duplicate it so we have four of them. So there's four of them there. I'm just going to kind of put them in front of my card. I know it's hard to see on your end because they are tiny but we'll get them exactly where we need them here in a second. We are going to need a cut line. So again, we're gonna go back to shapes. Even though it's a score line, we're gonna switch it to a cut line. So under operation, you just switch it from score to basic cut. We are gonna rotate it 90 degrees and we're gonna switch it so it's four and a half inches lengthwise and we're going to duplicate. We're going to need two of them and you're just going to eyeball where they go. Don't mind my cat. So we're going to align the top one center horizontally and then highlight the bottom one and just the bottom one with the card and align center horizontally. Now we're gonna zoom in for this because we gotta get a little closer. But one of our score lines has gone missing. But that's okay. So take one of your score lines and line it up at the corner of the top one and you can line another one on the other corner. Highlight your bottom cut line and with your arrow keys you can just move it upwards because you already have it centered so you don't want to risk moving it. So there, we've got the outside portion done. We just need to place our inside one. So I have this little box here and it is 1.125 inches in the width. And that is exactly one quarter of the width of our cut line. And again, we're just placing it in there, line it up with your center line, and then you can grab your score line and line it up on the other outside edge. And that's just to get your folds even. You can double check by moving your box over and make sure that they line up and they do. I don't know where my other score line went, so we'll pretend that it's there. And once you have all your score lines and cut lines in place, just highlight all of it and click attach at the bottom. Now for the butterflies here, I've got a couple different ones. So I got this one here is a layered one. 
This one here is a print and cut, and then the other two are layers. The only thing you have to do once you pick out your butterfly, and again, just search butterflies under images, is let's ungroup these two. And we're going to grab two score lines. You can grab one and duplicate. And you're just going to line it up in the center. Now the actual center might not be the perfect center. Let's see how this one's going to line up. So that one aligned up nice and center for me, but if the wings on one side are a little big, you might have to manually kind of put it in the center of the butterfly's body so it doesn't take into account the wings. So you're going to go ahead and attach that down at the bottom. Don't know why I was looking at the top. And then for the same bottom piece, attach the score line the same way. And then you can cut everything out or do your print and cut. But regardless, again, of the butterfly you choose, you just need to add the score lines because the butterfly is going to fold in half. So I'm going to get this cut out and I will see you at my craft desk. So here is everything cut out. I'm doing the layered butterfly. So I've got four pieces all together. If you're doing a printing cut, it's only the one piece, but the first step is pretty much the same. You're taking your score line that you put in the center of your butterfly and just folding that inwards. So I'm just going to use my regular craft bond glue and I'm going to glue my two pieces together and I'll be back. Butterfly is off in the corner there drying. So let's get the folds put into our card here. So remember we've got five score lines. So starting on the outside one, fold it inwards. The next one gets folded outwards next one inwards. So the same as your card's going to get folded. And then we're going to do outwards and inwards. I'm going to get the rest of the card folded here. Make sure everything gets a good fold in it. But that's what it should look like. So it makes like a little heart when you look at it from the bottom or the top. This is the pattern I picked for the outside of the card. Isn't that beautiful? I've been waiting to use it. Just looking for my score line. And let's get these two attached. So I do this the same way for all my cards. I just get it lined up, put it up against the center fold. Got to get my fingers out of the way. There we go. And then the 
same for the back. Okay, now we're gonna attach our butterfly. So hopefully it is fully dry here. So we're attaching on this center part here. So you wanna get it lined up. Kinda of where you're gonna want it. And I find the easiest way to do this is attaching the tape onto the one side. Don't overextend the tape. Okay. Let's get that lined up. Make sure everything is folding over nicely. Come down just a little bit. There, that looks good. We're gonna shut the one side and then do the same for the other. So here is the final reveal. So we've got the lovely pretty paper on the outside. Then you pop it open. And the butterfly, hopefully you can see the effect there. It sits, oh, a good centimeter or so up. So it just kind of floats there, shakes a bit. I did move the butterfly actually a little bit down off camera because it was a little top heavy. So. Keep that in mind too if you're doing a butterfly but there's still lots of room to write a message on either side and i think it looks super fantastic very happy with how this one turned out so thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch i really appreciate it and i appreciate you until next time